Hello, good evening. My name is uh, Tiago Ak. I'm a plein air painter and I uh, have this uh, David Attenborough shirt because I come to paint some wildlife and some wild landscapes here in Jerez Mountains. You'll see there is wolves, there is deer, there is wild pigs, there is a lot of species of animal, very nice to paint. And uh, I'll paint them and show you in here uh, Jerez Mountains, the stepping stones of the river of the man, in Portuguese, Rio Homem. Hello, we are here in Jerez, in Portuguese, Jerez, in Spanish, Jerez, in French, Gerois, and we are here to paint some landscapes. I found a nice river. And uh, we're gonna paint acrylic on canvas, some nice views, uh, follow me, you're gonna see, I'm a French impressionist, they paint very well. Hello, good evening. Um, of course you know, uh, I'm Thiago Hack and uh, we are in Jerez. This river is called Rio Homem, which translates to English as the River Man. So here in the River Man, I'm gonna paint this uh, curious rock that is pointing out of water. Now it's uh, eight o'clock in the. No, it's six thirty. Six thirty, and um, we are in the summer 2020, and um, I'm gonna paint this. Uh, because this, uh, I have to go fast, there is a very beautiful light effect on that rock but I don't know how long it's gonna last so I'm gonna paint really fast I got my Queen of England acrylic box full of paint and I'm gonna use the, um, carm how do you call this? carmine, 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 carmine with ultramarine blue to make my dark color to make the blocks. But first, I'm gonna use um, burnt sienna just to make a quick sketch to position everything on the canvas. So first, burnt sienna. This brush, I think, is a number six or number four. Yeah, I think it's number six. Uh, it has um, pig hair uh, bristles, and uh, I like it because it leaves some texture. So uh, I used it only once, I'm going to try now. So quick sketch. The, my main fo uh, central focal point is going to be this rock. Okay. Then, this, I like this rock cutting through. Then this one. Is the bigger. Always have a rag on you when you are painting, especially with acrylics. Okay, so, quick story. I was investigating here the places to paint, and there on those rocks I found some um, uh, some drops, some, some pool of otters. Some, uh, so this river has population of otters, which are the very cute mammals. And, um, if I don't talk too much, like I usually do, maybe we can see them. Also, there was a fisherman right on that rock before. And uh, I was talking with him. And... Um, yeah, he was swearing a lot. People in this area, they, they say swear words like as if it was uh, second nature. Which is quite cool, they, they are like not caring at all. They are loose. And um, he told me that wolves, I, I saw some footsteps of like big dog and I asked him and they said, yes, it could be a, a wolf. There is some wolves in this area, they come and drink water in this river. And I was like, damn, I hope I'm painting and one appears and now it's the end of the day. Maybe we can see some.
Okay, so now I'm gonna compress all the top area, otherwise it's not gonna fit the canvas. And I want to have a bit of sky, because it looks cooler. So I'm gonna compress all the backgrounds in a very more uh, extended uh, area. In a less extended area. I'm painting on a canvas, which I just stretched over a masonite board. But uh, I'm, I can remove it, it has just uh, some masking tape, some painter's tape. And I can remove it when I want. It's just to place it there. Because it's my, my holiday plane in Arctic. Yeah, I'm gonna put it down. Okay, done. Now I'm gonna make a dark color. So on this holiday kit I didn't bring black because I'm using all this black and the murals to mix and um, I don't want to use it anymore because uh, on the on the plein air paintings. Why? Because black it kill it doesn't allow any lights to go in and the dark colors are cooler. I'm taking my socks just because I'm afraid of uh, dirtying my shoes in this very hot day. And um, the black, um, it's, it's, it has zero transparency, so um, it makes everything, uh, it kills all the shadow. And uh, on murals it works well because it's what I mix with the colors. I, I have a very different technique on murals. Uh, I paint just with primary colors and here I don't. Here I paint with, uh, with like a more classical uh, oil painter. Uh, uh, game of colors. So I make this dark purple. This is gonna be my darkest color. I'm gonna block in all the dark spots. I'm gonna go very loose on the brush strokes on this painting because I feel sometimes my paintings are a bit too tight that's tight so I'm gonna try to break my own patterns and make it looser Okay, this part is a mess, I noticed, I realized that, but um, I'm not too worried because now I'm just like making it dark. Then I can level up with the greens and I'll pull it up towards us and it will look cooler. My concern now is more covering every bit white in the canvas. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab this, I, I bought this, I really like this color, to paint sand and rocks. It's a big shortcut, it's called Warm Grey. And um, it's kind of grey, but a bit more brown, but not too brown and not too ochre. It's, it's a very balanced in between the reddish tone and the yellowish tone on the warm side of color, spectrum of the colors. So I find it's very handy to find especially uh, rocks and stuff like that. So I, I buy it 
and normally for the renderings uh, of my uh, murals but I really like it and my brush is really dirty I think I'm gonna have to change brush because I just almost did a mistake I'm gonna go big, gonna go for an 18 because I'm gonna keep with the same principle of just blocking parts of color When I mean blocking, I mean closing uh, white areas in the canvas. That's what I'm talking about. So now... Um, the part that didn't dry yet, it's, it's giving me a bit of problems because it's like tinting my... Um, it's tinting my... How do you say? It's uh, tinting the color to my grey. And um, so I'm gonna work on the background first. And um, I'm gonna make you some green and mix burnt sienna with, the, with blue some green. So I make a, a darker, a dark color as well. That is not that purple we've been working on. Actually, for this, I should do. It, it, it becomes like a a brown. It becomes this hard to tell. This. I'm gonna grab my olive green, mix it with some yellow ochre, not too much, and start working on some dark trees here. Trying to redefine that messy area. Some uh, warm grey, some lighter trees, some more yellow ochre mixed with the green. Honestly, I'm having a hard time. I'm not seeing the light in the end of the tunnel. This is becoming a big, massive blob of paint. But it's cool, right? It's. Uh, it's a learning experience and maybe something great will come out of it. We can only tell in the end. So maybe I'll film in time lapse and then, uh, because then I'm more concentrated, I don't feel I have to be talking. And then I'll film the end uh, to you again. So I uh, can concentrate here on my big mess.
Okay, so you can see here it didn't go at all uh, like expected. Uh, the light changed too fast. I was making a big mess in the beginning, but I think I made a very unique and strong painting. Now in the end, it came out very different from what I usually do. Uh, it's way more loose. It um, the colors also uh, this this choice of dark colors also made it uh, look strong. I like I really like this choice of. Um, uh, car um, comes in with um, with the blue, and uh, yeah, I, I'm very very happy with the results. Although I still didn't uh, look back because I was like um, trying to pace it up to before the sun was gone. But it looks very good, very expressive, very loose brush. Um, I don't know, I'm curious, tell me what you think, write in the comments below uh, what's your opinion about this painting how different you think it is from the ones I made I'm curious I think also the fact of using a bigger canvas, you saw the other plein air paintings I made they were quite small and, um, and they were like on this portable plein air set now I'm going big because the proverb said, go big or go home, and I didn't go home, I went away from home, and I went big. Yeah, but I like it, honestly, I, it's, it's uh, kind of uh, exploring new grounds for me. I'm gonna make a few more uh, around this size. I actually cut a lot of canvas this size for for this summer trip. So I'm looking forward to make more of this big canvas, big big painting mess, exploring new worlds. I'm just uh, uh, the thing that didn't go as I expected. I was looking for this very strong light effects and they disappeared in half an hour, like I wasn't working at all the same painting on, on the half an hour although I still kept on moving and I didn't stay stuck with the initial plan I moved and I, I assumed like the darker colors and and all that and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly I'm very happy with the result now I have to pack up before the wolves come and get me because it's starting to be dark and uh, I don't want to be alone in the bush in the darkness with the wolves. This bush here is, is the one that I don't like the most. I was trying to do some scratchings. I don't like it a lot. I don't know, it's quite hard to make these very thin leaves. But well. Danskis! That's it, uh, actually. There's some really small plants here. Yeah, cool. Hope you enjoy it. You can buy this painting either by DMing me, me sending me a, a, a private message, or um, by um, or. Uh, Maybe on my Etsy page, if it's not sold on Instagram, you will eventually go to my Etsy page. Cool, looks good.
Okay, it's signed and dated 2020. Yeah, I could add some more details here, this and that, but I think it's done, the main parts are done. Just gonna make some shapes here. And that's it. It's time to go home, it's getting dark. Cool. Hope you like it. Because I did. I liked it a lot. Gonna film you some details? You see the darker colors with this kind of purple? I think it looks really cool. Okay, this was it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I have other plein air videos and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Check my other work, I also paint murals. I'm always painting every day, man. Every day. My name is Thiago Hack.